Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. Before we get into this, if you hear a lot of suspicious creaking sounds, uh, that's because for some reason today the wind is blowing at like 60 miles per hour and it's causing a lot of noise that I don't appreciate, but this is the first day in like four or five days I got to record, so I'm doing it anyways. But yes, in the last episode, we decided to get more recruits. The first and only one that we initiated in last episode was an orc. A very eager orc. Because as soon as he got initiated, he uh, ran all the way to Markarth. We followed him all the way to Markarth. On like, what, a day and a half long trek? Something like that. Uh, he immediately stabbed a man and got arrested, so now we're going to try to bail him out of Sudden the Mine. I think we agreed we were going to pretend to be nobles or something, looking to buy a slave, I don't know. Can't remember for sure because it's been so long, and I know you guys, and myself as well, have been eagerly awaiting this next episode because I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen. I have been, however, working a lot. If you can't tell by the multiple unneeded saves, I could just have one, but nope. <laughs> but I have been working more on the stream series save, and I downloaded more mods, which I probably should have looked at the names of, because I know you guys are going to be curious. Uh, I'll insert them now, here, in case you're interested. I can't remember which ones I kept and which ones I didn't, but I know I downloaded a couple of Thunderstorm mods. That's clockwork. There's our save. Okay, I have so many. I know it's a problem, but I can't be stopped. But yes, let us finally get back into it. I'm not sure how many uploads there are going to be in December. I'm gonna try to catch up. We all know how that always goes. Uh, okay, I don't think it's been a full day yet, so I think we still have some waiting around to do. But I've been working on a few different projects. I have a commission that I need to finish pretty soon this month. Like all of these I have to finish this month, so I'm just like feeling really overwhelmed. I have a video I kinda wanna get done for the holidays, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we shall see. I have been working on it. And then I've been Ooh. working on a gift for my D&D group, which you guys ask me about all the time. Yes, I do play D&D every week, because sometimes I get asked if I even play it. I love it. And I am currently playing as a Dalmo, my little high elf I play as a lot in my modded series, who is a noble high elven wizard, and he has a homebrew subclass. I'm just gonna sit in this chair and wait, by the way. Don't know how long exactly we need to wait. We'll wait a good a good 23 hours. That seems like it'll be right. But yeah, Ryder actually made like a subclass for him, which has to deal with like crystals, basically which crystal he's attuned to, like has different effects on him. It's really cool. I enjoy it a lot. But okay, I think we should be good to meet Vala now. I'm actually really hoping it starts storming in this episode. You know what? You know what? I mean, I could force a storm, that's not what I'm talking about, but this just came into my mind. I should set it to be a wintry holiday. I did it for October. Thing is, I feel like Saturalia, Old Life Festival, and New Life Festival are all wintry ones around this time of year. I need, I need the book. Where's the holiday book, if I even have it on me? I'm pretty sure Saturalia is like the Christmas one, just because that's what I... <laughs> that's the custom holiday I have in The Sims, because, uh, help. I only play as my Elder Scrolls characters in The Sims. Fun fact, I think I've talked about that before. But yeah, I did set all the holidays to be Elder Scrolls ones too. Do I just not have it? I could be being blind, as per usual. Uh, hold on. Help. Wind. Oh my god. Okay, no, I think, I think I'm just going to uh, trust my instinct. And I'm pretty sure Saturalia is more of the like Christmassy like type of one. I think New Life Festival is more so New Year's, so we can change it for that. Let's see. Let's see what Saturalia does. Don't know. Oh, oh, oh yeah. See, look how Christmassy that yes. is. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Why are there so many people coming out of here? What's going on? I don't know, but let's go find Vala. I think I've done a good amount of blathering. A sufficient amount, as I always do. <laughs> Rip that guy. But alright, is she over here? Has it been a full day? Do I need to wait one more hour? I am I. Set outside of the mine, so I don't think I need to go in there. I'll, I'll wait one more hour. I did already wait, right? Oh god, I was blathering too much, I don't even know. Have these always been here? And, and that? Am I just now noticing this? What the heck? Oh, there's Vala. Hello! Oh, I was just thinking about you. Funny how that works. I mean, I would assume if you came here to meet me, you would be. Ready? Best I could do on short notice. Oh, I have a chef outfit now. 
Chefs and Markarth. This brings back some memories. Oh? Eh, it's nothing. Let's go. Oh, a little flashback for a little gone air there. But let's put on our chef outfit. Okay, we should be looking like a chef now. Oh yes, yeah, so fancy, it's super dark. <laughs> Maybe I should take off Hope's fire. That might be a little alarming. I'll just have lightning bolt on, just in case. Alright, now you. let's stroll on in. Works. I have equipped the chef's outfit, so hopefully this will work. Let's stroll on in, I think. Maybe. I guess we'll go forward. Do we need to talk to you? Hello? No one is allowed in here except on official business. Oh, but I am on official business. You are? Didn't Thonar tell you I was coming? Thonar? Thonar Silverblood? Your boss? Nobody said anything about coming here. It's not a horror. Well, dang it, sister. That's my wife. <laughs> I like him. I guess we'll have to get him down here. You know how grumpy he can be when he has to come down to the mine. Oh, no, that's, uh, let's not do that. So he did tell you I was coming. Oh, yes, yes, he did. Your name, miss? Mr. Matius, if you please. Oh, yes, of course. Hold on. Let me just, uh, turn these down a little bit. Oh, one thing I should have done <laughs> while I was downloading a bunch of other mods was update this one, but alas, I've forgotten yet again. But okay, maybe we can hear them a little better now. Miss Amartius, what can I do for you? Do I have to spell it all out for you? The rudeness of people in this city. Now, darling, what was your name again? Uh, Brad, miss. Now, here, Ron. Are you going to get me my new toy? What now? That beast of an orc you captured yesterday. Sonar said I could have him for a modest fee. Our prisoners are for sale. <laughs> oh, Stop! Uh, you're being serious? Sonar sends word to me that he has a product I'm looking for. And all I need to do is pay him 40,000 septums. Now you're telling me that I can't buy what was promised, even though I have all this gold with me? Let's get Thonar down here and see what he says about that. Uh, no, that is not necessary. <laughs> I'll go grab him right now. You two go wait by the evidence room. Thank you. All right. That was simple. <laughs> I was afraid he would not fall for that, but there we go. All right, let's just wait in this beautiful hole. I love it. He's ever so slowly going to get Hazook. There, there he goes. He, he figured it out. He reapproaches. Hello. Oh, now there is my new toy. Come, let me have a look at him. He is bigger and stronger than Thonar stated. I adore him. I can't wait to dress him up. Here's all your stuff, Azak. Where is Azak? <laughs> is he still down there? He's being lazy. Guess I'll just well, continue you, to Abraham. wait. <laughs> now, about that payment. Oh, don't be silly. I don't mean to be offensive, but what would prevent you from taking my money and going on vacation in Valenwood? No, I'll be taking my money straight to Thonar. If you insist. Okay. Oh, it says great. speak with the Zook, but the Zook is not. He's he's not here. Um. Hold on. There's two Azooks. Which one do I summon? Also, I don't remember the exact command. Maybe, maybe I'll reload this one, see if that'll help. Mm, I still don't see him. I see another guard that's in the way. Maybe I should be a good YouTuber and actually go update the mod. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll, I'll try that. Okay, let's try it now. Oh, she is here. What do you so so something I've noticed is like this coming. save. Oh, yes, is particularly yes, yes, yes. like it seems like any save I record on just Mr. seems to like yes, to have please. a lot more problems oh, yes. because this one has knock on wood not crashed on me once like no mods ever mess up my Martius, computer just really doesn't do like gone air I guess I and sort sort seems to be a little buggy it's probably just because I've done a lot on this save I don't know all right moment of truth is he there I wonder if it has something to do with that I've done this in a mine quest before? And it's gone! Okay! Did not like me wandering around, that's for sure. Maybe I need to go back and try to do the other option? I don't remember what that was, but... If I do that though, am I gonna have to chase Azuk all the way across? 
I swear! Oh my god. Maybe if I just fast traveled, he'd be there. We, we can hope. I will try it nonetheless. Bad thing is, I've just been playing a lot of Skyrim the past month, so... I think, I think this one? I think it's that one. Oh, I gotta do the whole alchemist thing again, too. Ugh. Oh, that is some extreme dark, but one of the mods I did download makes torches. Well, a little better. Oh, oh, why? It's better than they usually are, okay? My EMB is very dark. <laughs> Those are very large spiders. I, I'm gonna go the other way. Ooh, look at this stuff. That's beautiful. Um, I want it very badly, but I can't carry it. Cicero, where are you? Please. I want the pretty things. This is a rather important book. It will lead us to a quest line. Yes. Or did we already find it? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just talks about uh, the quest. But Garnier does do that, so we'll be doing that eventually. Why do I keep picking up more stuff whenever <laughs> I can't run? I think it's throat. Just, just, just come here. <laughs> Don't really want to drop all this glass. You know what? Let's give him the pretty armor. There we go. We can at least admire it a little bit. Oh wait, it was storming. It was so dark out though. I don't know if you guys be able to tell how it looks, but it's definitely different. For some time, you can hear it on the inside in here. It sounds a lot better, and it actually you makes storms family? feel like you storms, rather than a light drizzle. When you Sorrow, there, you your hands, question. they're not connected. What is that? <coughs> what? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Oh. Looking like a me and Wii well, Sports or something. Somebody. All right, now uh, it's at the follow a zook part, so um, let's see if I can just fast travel. Otherwise, <laughs> help. Oh, he numed again. Goodbye. Oh, but yes, uh, here's here's how the thunderstorms are kind of looking. It's dark, so you can't see it super well, but they sound a lot better. Uh, and you can actually see lightning in the sky now, if it would do it. Well, it's not really showing any lightning, sadly, so I'm not just gonna go ahead and fast travel. Maybe it'll still be storming. Of course, enemies are nearby. They always are here. Okay, good. That worked. We don't have to do all of that again. He should be in here. Why are so many people here? Whoa! What is going on? Wait, it, what? What was that? I was too late. Hold on. Hold on just a moment. I'm- I'm confused. Okay, okay. I don't know if they're gonna do it again. Oh no, this he's just gonna appear normally this time. Like... Okay. Well, normally take. he'll blink in place at least. <laughs> it might be a little bit of a longer episode, but hey, no. Ah, okay. It was the priest. That was right. So that's what we're going to be doing instead. And hopefully that'll work. There is a priest in this town who owes us a favor. Raldar. Raldar. Let's go then. All right, hopefully this one will work. So oh, I am actually going to reload that auto save and save just in case I want to be like, no, let's just leave him in prison. Just in case. There we go. But I'll reload because I don't want to do all that again. I've already been recording for an hour and I feel like I've done nothing. But hopefully Roldar will be a little bit more efficient at actually getting a Zook to that appear out of prison. Dollar Could you market. not follow me in here and didn't get out of here? Like you two, get out of here. What is this? Okay. Oh, hi, Roldar. What in Talos's holy undergarments are you doing here? <laughs> we need your help. My help? We need to get into Sydney Mine, preferably undetected. How would I get you into the mine undetected? Oh, the guard uniforms. The guard uniforms. I will give you the uniforms. I also have a friend, Erbran, who works oh, in the mine. Oh, that guy, okay. Give him this note. He will be able to get you in, no questions asked. All right. Don't take this the wrong way, but I never want to see you again. Wow, okay. Thanks. So guard the skies, fur gauntlets, and fur boots. Okay. Let's put them on. There we go, looking like a guard again. Uh, Cicero, you do you. You know, he has new armor now. They wear kind of steel-like armor. Well, they wear steel armor. He's wearing steel-like armor. He'll, he'll blend in just fine. He's just a little bit more glowy. <gasps> oh, you know what this means? Oh my god, I get to do it again. Uh, if you didn't see the very end of last episode, I would definitely recommend it, because I finally... What are you? I get to take my Please, anger out a little bit on these guys. 
<gasps> he always deheads them. <laughs> We're gonna dehead this guy? Oh, well, close enough. And there we go. No bounty. I love it. Because apparently they were annoying these people just as much. But okay, let's go inside. I know I could just like talk to them, but then I'd have the quest in my quest log and I don't like that. I already have too many that I'm not gonna do. Well, that I might not do. I, I don't know. Okay. But anyway, let's talk to Airbron. Roldar sent me. Here, read this. Okay. Whatever you're doing, I don't want it to come back on him. It'll be fine. It won't, I promise. What exactly are you doing in the mine? We need to rescue our friend, the orc. Borkel? No, Ozik. The one who murdered the Khajiit right in the middle of the inn? Murdered is such a negative word. Normally, I don't support letting prisoners go, especially murderers. Negative word. Prelda told me what you did for the Forsworn. What he may not have told you is that I have family that are Forsworn. You've saved a lot of lives, including those of my family. Okay, I'll help you through the mine, get the orc out. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it works. I'm scared, but fingers crossed. Looks like it's in the same spot. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Please don't tell me I did all that for nothing. <laughs> I'm not seeing him. Well, uh... I guess what I'm gonna have to do is try to cheat him here, and if not, I'm just gonna leave him. And call an hour and a half of my life wasted. Or maybe two hours. How long did it take me to chase after him? Too long. Let me see if I can figure this out. Well, I already tried the place at me thing. I could just... I could just skip this stage of the quest and, like, hope he appears <laughs> in the sanctuary again. Let's try 107? I- I do not know. Um, no, that- that looks like that must be whatever this is. Okay, 108? Am I doing this wrong? Let me just make sure I'm not, uh, messing with the other Brotherhood of Hold quest. Doesn't look like it. But I definitely don't think I'm doing this right. Let's just set it to 200. Finished it! <laughs> Maybe that was it. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he says. I assume we just tell him to go to the sanctuary. I don't know. But, uh, I've been putting thought into promoting Vala into my silencer. If this mission goes well, I believe I will. For now, Vala and I need to go find the salesman in solitude. Ah, so I assume we need to speak to the Night Mother and she'll tell us that. Hopefully Azuk will have appeared in the sanctuary. If not, I don't know, maybe I'll reload and just say leave him. But he seems like an interesting little fellow, so I'd like to keep him around. Oh, look at this guy, that's so pretty. But, uh, I feel like I should at least do this quest since I feel like a lot of that was just kind of doing stuff I'd already done. So sorry if it's a long episode today, but you know, it's been a little bit since I got to upload Skyrim anyway, so... I'm making up for that, I guess. <laughs> the child of the chance is exceeding all of our expectations. She truly will be able to save our family if we continue to allow her potential to grow. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Go to Solitude, talk with the frightened salesman, take his gold, and so begins another contract. Alright, Cicero, your hands still are not connected, which is a little bit concerning, but let's go to Solitude. But first, actually, is Azuk in here anywhere? Not really seeing him. So I don't really know if I should reload and just say to leave him. That mannequin is not in the right spot, which is kind of freaky. So I don't know if another thing is going to come up with Azuk that if I need to find him and talk to him again might mess up. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. If I should just reload again whenever I'm Do not filming and uh, not retrieve Azuk. But I'm gonna go ahead and go do this quest at least. Hopefully that's not a mistake. <laughs> Alright, here's the the frightened salesman, I suppose. Perseus Crito, hello. You the salesman? You have to help me. You know Someone is true. trying to kill me. I I think he's a vampire. Uh, huh. I have no idea. He's been following me for the past Solitude. several months as I've traveled Skyrim. I lost him in Fall Creek. Oh no, his ball is supposed to be here. I paid a guard to sneak me out of the city during the day. 
I think I messed that There's up. An enclave, almost I think west I think Vala's messed up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna reload, and I'm just gonna say no. We want to know Azooks because he's messing everything up, and I've had enough. <laughs> Let's just try it this way, I guess. <laughs> get out of here. <sighs> okay, we gotta watch this again. Yes, good job, Azook. <laughs> Should we go break him out? <sighs> no, I won't put the family at risk. Especially if he's going to be doing that. I agree. It would be too much of a risk. And what if he gets locked up again? It could come back to the Brotherhood. See you around. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Are we good? Alright. So much simpler. Let's go speak with the Night Mother. And hopefully that hasn't bugged Vala out again. <laughs> because setting the stage earlier seemed to have done something. This episode's a mess. Oh, I haven't set it to be all like Christmassy. I need to do that. In fact, it's still on Halloween for some reason. There we go. That's much better. At least more fitting. Fingers crossed it works! Oh, Bala isn't with me, but hopefully she's somewhere in here. The child. Alright, is Vala supposed to be with me? Where's Vala? Are you Vala? You're not Vala. I mean, maybe she'll appear when I fast travel, but I don't know. Oh, look, that's even prettier. Oh my god. Alright, I uh, don't think Bala's with us still, but I'm gonna go to Solitude and hope for the best. Maybe she'll catch up along the way. <laughs> it acts like she's supposed to be talking to this guy. She's here. Okay, let's talk to the guy. You oh. have to help me. What do you need, friend? Okay, there we Someone go. Someone is trying to kill me. I. I think he's a vampire. Why would a vampire try and kill you? I have no idea. He's been following me for the past several months as I've traveled Skyrim. Where is he now? I lost him in Falkreath. I paid a guard to sneak me out of the city during the day. Oh no, we haven't found him in Okay, did you happen to notice where he was staying in Falkreath? There was an enclave almost directly west of the city. Rude, come on. Wait, I know you. Oh. Time to go. Uh, yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> May have to, uh, deal with our bounty when we get to Fall Creek. Oops. Uh, it's bound to happen eventually, right? I mean, I am the same- Oh, yes, it's gonna rain! Okay. So see, it looks a lot heavier. Hopefully there will be some lightning, because the lightning looks really great. And I love the way the thunder sounds. Like, it's amazing. You can see the lightning in the sky now. I can't remember if I said that earlier, but it does look very cool, very cool. But it's telling us to run down here to leave Solitude, so... Oh! There was some lightning! <gasps> yes, I, I just love this so much. Like I said, I'll uh, I'll put the, the mod names on the screen now. I'm bad at remembering names, so uh... Let's talk to Vala. Oh, hi, listener! Here's the plan. So, are we heading down to Falkreath and hunting some vampires? No, we are not. Is Gunnar afraid of it? He's like, I can't go back home! I have a bounty there! There are probably guards just waiting outside of my house to arrest me! I don't even remember what I did. I assume I killed a man, but uh... No, we are not. What? Why not? Just because we didn't collect his money yet? Oh... Oh, Gunnar's scared of the vampire. Ah... Okay, so I could be kind of mean and be like, I'm tired of you questioning me! Just say vampires are deadly and you're not ready, or it's not about the money, they're just more dangerous than you realize. Uh, I feel like this is the nicest one. I'm trying to think of how nice Gunnair would be feeling right now. I actually feel like he might be a little bit worried about going back to Valkyrie, so he's just like, Are you questioning me? I'm beginning to grow tired of you questioning every decision I make. I don't question. not every decision. But you were right. She wasn't so I was out of line. I just want to help the family. Even if it means going against your interpretation of the tenets. I can handle a few vampires. Besides, if they're anything like the vets, I can definitely handle I don't vampires. know, but that's very... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's a little mean, probably won't say it, but yeah, but that probably would snap your neck like a twig. Remember that one time we found her over a dead man? If they're anything like Babette, you would definitely get killed. I want to help you. So he's definitely being a little protective, like these vampires are too much. If you die, all of this is in vain. I know you do. 
This is too dangerous. I have a more important mission for you. What could possibly be more important? Our sanctuaries are empty. I'm tasking you with recruitment. That... that is an important task. It's the most important task. Ooh. How am I to do this? The way I taught you. I am promoting you to my silencer. You will answer to me. What's a silencer? Basically, think of it as a sharp point of the dagger. I see. Go with Sivis, listener. And you, silencer. Alright, so I guess we're doing the Falkreath thing on our own then, eh, Cicero? Yeah, find a clue in the Falkreath Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary at night. Oh. Okay. Oh, what the heck, I'll do it in this episode. I'm, I'm feeling it. I want to play Skyrim today. I had to just do a bunch of stuff I'd already done. And I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind if I did more <laughs> in this episode. Even though we'll probably just end up getting arrested, but I think where I will leave off is- crimes against Skyrim and Oh, they were waiting outside the sanctuary for me! No. Oh, I don't know how much money I have. I'm sure Smart I have enough to man. pay off the bounty, now, though. Come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free. Oh no, my stolen goods! I actually don't know if I have any, but still! I hope I got that cool mask out of my inventory. The tribunal one? I think I did. It's been a while though. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'll probably leave- Oh, it's so cute! It's all lit up! It's very dark. But I'll, I'll leave off outside of Lakeview, so in the next episode we'll finally work on Lakeview Manor! But okay, let's head to the sanctuary. It's really dark. Where am I going? Let's- We can't fast travel. Okay, uh, let's just get out candlelight then. Oh. Oh, is there a dragon? No, I can't see a- Well, I guess I can see the dragon, but it's too hard to fight in this darkness. How rude. Oh, we're gonna do something fancy. Get it, Gonair. He's sick of these dragons. Oh, so feisty. Look at him. I'm so proud. Okay, so this is actually really good for character development because he didn't sneak and run away like a little Inwa. Uh... He's starting to get a little bit more confident with his killing abilities. Can I even carry these? Hmm, hardly. Okay, well, Cicero, <laughs> I have Cicero more presents for you. <laughs> Take my bones. I guess I can go ahead and talk about this a little bit now. He has been living at the sanctuary for quite a while. My- I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> like, I guess not. It's over this way. It's hard to tell. Everything's just dark. But, uh... <laughs> Oh, everyone's like, what? What's going on? But of course the Dawnstar Sanctuary is close to all of the, you know, influence of Vermina with her staff and whatnot. So he's also been getting affected by the nightmares. And he's starting to have reoccurrent dreams. You are exactly what I was looking for. I don't want you, Barbus. Get out of here. Should I talk to him right now? I mean, I'm going to do this eventually. I don't think Gonair does it, so we'd have to wait until I do everything else Gonair does. D did you just talk? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. <laughs> Thanks, Barbus. You see, my name is Bob. <laughs> Thanks for scarring Gonair. I have Gonair. a problem I think you can help sort out. I've got things to do. I know, I know. Wars to fight, dragons to confront, guild business to conduct. Sheesh. <laughs> Listen, when you're ready to do something useful, find me outside Haymai Shane in Falkreath. Okay. I'm actually gonna, uh, close my blinds a little bit. It's getting too bright in here. But he started to have reoccurrent nightmares, particularly about his family. And even more so, particular, it is so freaking dark. Where am I? I think you guys might be able to see a little bit better than I can, but... But, even more in particular, about his grandma, who he was very close to whenever he was growing up, being quite disappointed with him and the path he's decided to take in life. Basically, his... He feels like his ancestors are beginning to shame him. Of course, maybe he wouldn't even have to... Excuse me? Maybe he wouldn't even have to have these dreams, uh, because of Vermina's staff, because his ancestors are probably quite disappointed in him. But Gonair's starting to feel a little bit bad. He's like, well, maybe I am supposed to do this? But this is ridiculous. Like, surely, surely it's just nothing. 
That's basically how he's feeling right now. But uh, I guess, are we supposed to go inside? Yeah, in. Okay. So that will continue eating at our elf boy as this modded quest line progresses. I feel like it's been a little bit since I've given a good, uh... What do you mean Cicero can't come in here? Oh no, he is. He is in here. What to say, he should be able to be. But I feel like it's been a little bit since I've given some character insight for little Gonair here. <laughs> Look at all the Lucian puddles, huh? But what are we looking for in here? Obviously a sign of a vampire, I would assume. Yeah, yeah, there's... There's been a vampire in here. There's bedrolls everywhere. Not very happy that this place has been overrun by vampires, but okay. Most everything's blocked off now. It did say at night, right? Yeah, it is nighttime. I believe it is 4 a.m. I'll just keep wandering around. I guess let's check in Astrid's room. We haven't gone back here. Yes, we go. Um. Wolf Arius's journal. Oh, second of first seed, fourth era, eighteen. Oh, it's quite an old journal, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, and it's very long. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's super long. I would love to read it for you guys, but it just keeps going. I will definitely be reading it in my free time. Um, uh, I'm hoping it'll be like a uh, like an Arquin situation where <laughs> they'll uh. <laughs> Come summarize it for us because it just keeps going so I don't think I have time to read all of that sadly. I have discovered a group of vampires calling themselves the Crimson Scars taking refuge in our old home. Okay. Um, they appear to be plotting something. I need to get this news to Nazir right away. Yes, Alright. Okay. I hope that was all there was to it because I feel bad I didn't read through it but though I hadn't read through this I can make little Dark Brotherhood pouches for my armor. I need to do that. I used to be so addicted to making the little pouches. Maybe that's what we can also do whenever we're working on Lakeview. Which I think I am going to go ahead and go over to before we speak with Nazir. Let's kill someone. Oh dang it, Shadow Mirror, you're blocking the whole way. <laughs> but I don't want to run off back to Dawnstar and then forget about Lakeview again. So let's go ahead and uh, wait a couple of hours and then head over there. It's, it's literally no brighter. Thanks for that. Okay, I think I think this is just as good as it's gonna get. It's a little better. I can at least somewhat see. Oh, I just love all Falkreath's little lights. It's so cute. May just have to uh, leave this override on forever. Um, because I am rather enjoying it. You know what? I could just I could just fast travel to Lakeview. What am I doing? Need to make sure nothing is taken over our house. There's probably another giant or something outside of it. Is our home peaceful? Right, I don't have chickens. Okay, so our chickens are fine because they don't exist. I think we're good here. But yeah, guys, I do think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave it. In the next episode, we will finally be working on Lakeview. And then probably getting around to a little bit more of the Brotherhood of Old. What What was that? Hello? Oh, God. Oh, God. Being attacked by a herd of wolves. Thanks for that. Get out of here. I'm trying to do an outro. Don't run away, coward. Why, why am I not using lightning bolt? I can just... Just shock it from afar. There. But yeah, then we will be continuing on more of the Brotherhood of Old. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.